Well, good morning, my beautiful friends. I am in the car waiting for Brian. Uh, we are going to go to open mat at my old jujitsu gym. Now, I will not be able to actually participate in jujitsu called rolling for I don't even know how long, depending on how long recovery after surgery takes and all that. Um, but this is the first time that I will be going back there since the leg chopping has occurred and I could have gone back at any point and just like hung out with people because those people are like family and I love them but I'll be honest I've been very uncomfortable too because like jiu-jitsu is a very physical sport right you're like basically simulating fighting for your life and um you know like doing submissions on other people and chokes and stuff like that and so it's a very very physical fighting sport and I didn't suck at it I wasn't great at it but like I was learning you know I've done it for like a grand total of I think three, four years if you add it all up. Now I am impaired. Now I am missing a leg. Now everything is different. Now when I go back, uh, my game will totally be changed. Which, if I look at it in a positive way, is cool because I get to learn a whole different side of jujitsu. Uh, there are definitely people with below the knee amputations, even above the knee amputations, who do jujitsu, so I know that it's possible. I'm gonna go and face that fear. I'm sure it'll be okay. If I sob, I sob. They'll love me anyways, right? Get reintegrated into that community, say hey to everybody, and watch Brian roll, because I love watching him, if nothing else. So, wish me luck. Guess what, guys? I did not die. Uh, it was really awesome to go. So I just got back a couple hours ago from jujitsu and you know, we build up these scenarios in our heads of how scary things are gonna be, and it was awesome to be there. It was awesome to see those people again. Thank you to all of my teammates and everyone who was um, there to say hey and hang out with me and talk to me. All I could do was sit there, and I think that was one of my big fears too, that I really have a problem being like sidelined and not being able to participate in something when it's right there, and I love it. And there are a few things that I'm as passionate about as I am about jujitsu. I love it for those five minutes that I'm rolling with someone, like everything else melts away. If there are any other fellow jujitsu practitioners, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I think part of me was afraid that I would like sit on the mat and be like, well, it wouldn't be terrible if I practiced a little bit. And that would be a terrible idea because I am in no physical condition to do that because of what's going on with my leg. But um, I knew my boundaries and I kept them and I just got to chat with people and watch people roll and watch people work on their game and it was great. I think a lot of my fears come back to projection. Like I don't actually think any of the people that I train with think less of me because I'm missing a leg. I don't think they'll be weird about training with me. I think I'm the one who thinks that. I think sometimes I think of myself as less. I think that it's weird sometimes like I don't think that for the majority of the time at all I don't think that for anyone else I just think that for myself and facing new situations like seeing people for the first time when I haven't seen them and the last time I saw them I had two legs it just brings up a lot of anxiety and like I was saying before these are people I've been super physical with right and so they've seen me in a very different light and and now I will not ever be that same version I'll be a different version of athletic and fierce and fighting, but um, it's just gonna be different. And I realized today that like, they're gonna be there for that too, you know? And everyone from uh, from my gym who watches this, thank you guys. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for supporting me. And the coaches have, you know, offered to help me get used to this when I'm ready to get back on the mats. And unfortunately, that's probably gonna be quite a while. Unfortunately, that's probably gonna be months. I do have an appointment set up with a doctor this Wednesday to figure out more of what's going on. Um, more, Not more of what's going on, more of what we're gonna do, because some decisions do need to be made. I'll fill you in more on that when I know more. I do think I'm still going to Ireland, but after that, uh, surgery or surgeries will definitely be on the horizon. Everything's gonna be turned upside down again, and it's gonna be months before I am walking on a prosthetic leg again. And I don't know how long until I can work again. And I guess that just means this is more of an adventure. That's what stories are, right? You know what, it's better to do it now than later. And setbacks happen. And I definitely have had moments of losing it and being super angry. And I really appreciated your incredible support and your messages to me after my last video. And I will keep you guys filled in. And I know I'm being a little bit vague. I'm not just talking about the, the one surgery for the bursitis. There's some other stuff that might be happening. And I will let you know 
when I know more. Remember when I said this rug was super slippery? It still is, and I still really enjoy sliding around on it like a child. Wanna come out? She's so scared. Aww. Guys, that's the furthest she's ever come. I've literally had her for a year and a half, and she's never made it on the rug. This must be a magic rug. I don't know if you guys are nearly as entertained by all their antics as I am. I just think they're the sweetest thing. So, I guess you guys are stuck watching them too. So one thing that I've been thinking a lot about over the past couple days is the idea of control. I think we all like to think that we have control over our lives. I sure do. Um, but in reality, we don't. Life's circumstances take us where they want to take us and all we can really control is our actions and our reactions and our perceptions. And that's a lot of what stoicism is about. I've mentioned the kind of the philosophy of stoicism before. I'll put a link in the description to a book that I'm reading one page of every day. I've stayed pretty consistent with it. I've missed a couple days recently. In any case, I feel like everything is out of control right now. I don't want to have more surgery. I don't want to have fallen, which then caused this injury, which is now preventing me from walking, which is now going to make me have more surgery. And there's potentially something much larger that is on the horizon and I feel like nothing is in my control. Like everything is just spinning out of control around me and I'm just along for the ride and that can make you feel like you're losing your mind. As humans, we want to have control. I don't think it's an unnatural desire or a wrong thing, but I also think it's important to recognize what is and what is not in our control. It's kind of like the serenity prayer, you know? God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. I think that's it. I think it's wrong to want to control things, but I think it's important to recognize what is within our control and what isn't. And so I am making a list today of the things that I can actually that are in my power and the things that aren't, I'm not gonna make a list of because it's literally everything else, but I think focusing on the simple little things is really helpful. And so I would love it if you would comment down below five things, little things, big things, whatever it is that are in your control. And these are my 12 things that I can control. comments in the comment section below. I hope you guys are having a lovely afternoon, morning, evening, wherever it is where you are. One of the upcoming videos is going to be a Q&A with Brian and I. We were actually going to film that right when we got back from Jiu Jitsu, but Brian hurt his neck, um, which is a big bummer. He's resting right now. Hopefully he'll feel better soon. Um, so we'll film that in the next couple days. I have all of your questions. We're going to get through as many of them as we can. I'm super excited to have him on. I know you guys are too. Hop over to the community tab here if you want to add a question for me to chat with him about on camera. All right, I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.